Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to do a comparison of the physics engine in Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4.26. So basically in Unreal Engine 5 we have the Chaos physics engine, then in Unreal Engine 4.26 we also have Chaos but I'm going to use the default one physics physics engine comes from NVIDIA. I have two comparison. The one is we are trying to make collisions inside the game and there's another one I'm trying to simulate some physics inside the game. So let's get to try. Let's first start with the Unreal Engine 4.26. Alright, let's start. Go full screen. So here we can see we have some animating plane. So here we change the collision each and every frame. So you can see we are running at the maximum performance. Alright, cool. Then I can go closer to this ball and I start animating. Also, this is also making collisions and so there's no issue with the performance. Alright, let's try the same thing in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, go full screen right now we can see frame rate is not that good we can see barely get 30 frames a second and sometimes collisions are like there's something wrong with the collision system at all these balls simply drop they start playing but they're now not having collision right then we go to the this ball same thing uh, we're not getting good frames rates at all all right now let me turn off collisions in both these objects all right let me play it again Right now we can see we can see the animation and we get in the maximum performance. All right, so let's try this one. Yeah, same story. So basically now we can identify the problem is coming from the physics engine of Unreal Engine 5. So it is not up to the standard of the 4.26 version, and that's something uh, we need to think about. All right, let's try another demo. Here we are trying to do some physics simulation. Let's go full screen. Right now we have set of cubes scattered over here. I can go closer and start rotating. So this is uh, 4.26 and we can see yeah, it's doing a pretty great job. And then I go closer, it will start physics simulations and it will drop to the ground. So let's do that. See, and we get a really good performance and yeah, that's what we expected. Then let's try the same thing in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, now we have the map and let me run it. Go full screen. Let's go closer to the our object. All right, let's start rotating. So we get around like 70 to 80 frames a second, which is pretty good. And then I can go closer. It should uh, enable physics. Right, that's the issue. Yeah, it, it didn't do well. So let me try it again. Play from here. All right, and have a look at these frame rate numbers. Right, yeah, it didn't do well. So definitely it's not just about making collisions each and every frame. So this uh, physics engine is need a little bit more love. Uh, I hope uh, they have addressed that in the main branch of Unreal Engine 5 or maybe they are going to address it pretty soon. And hopefully when the time for the Unreal Engine 5 public release, everything will be sorted out. That's what we expect. The reason is in Unreal Engine 5, we don't have a choice. We have to use the Chaos physics engine and we don't have option to select the older physics engine that we have right now if they didn't improve this and this will be uh, something to note for games and i'm starting to work with open land mesh for unreal engine 5 i'm doing some procedural geometry generation and um, some interesting thing with open land mesh i started to add in a uefi support and if you like i'll start to do videos like this um, every week or so all right uh, see you soon with something interesting bye